Hi guys, it's your buddy Deceptive here and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the biggest updates to hit Heroes and Generals, Squad 2.0. Now with me in TeamSpeak we have Galaxy Grits. Hello. And today we're going to be showing you how to use Squad 2.0 effectively. Now as you can see I do have uh, uh, only like three hours left of veteran membership, that's because there was a free code you could use to get your free membership. Now. First things first, when you when you log in, you're going to get a whole great big range of pop-ups if you're a veteran, if you've already played the game before. If you're new to the game, don't worry about those pop-ups. It's just them telling you this has been moved down a rank, that's been moved up a rank, etc., etc. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to click on this little shield down below. It used to be over down next to the speech bubble, which is the squad selection. And what they've gone ahead and done now is they have gone ahead and added it into a points system. So you can no longer have a squad of you and six of your buddies just decimating the enemy. Now, one of you have to be a designated squad leader. In this case, it's Johann Schmidt. There is my in-game name, XX Sacred Angel XX. They've done away with the capital letters and stuff like that. Now, so everyone, every, everyone's name is in capitals now for some reason. And then, in order to figure out the point system, you're going to need to invite a friend. So you click on invite a friend, find your friend. When he accepts the invite, you're going to get this pop-up. Now, in the upper right corner, you're going to see squad upgrade points. You're going to get upgrade points as you rank up the following two badges. Squad leader, as you can see, I'm squad leader rank 6. And squad member. And as you can see, I'm squad member rank four. Now, you gain a, a, a point every two ribbons. So two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. Okay? For a grand total of twelve points. Okay? Twelve points max. The squad leader is always free. It doesn't cost you a penny. Okay? Now, what you're gonna see now is it's gonna cost you additional slot points for additional members. So as you can see, the first two guys are always free. Okay, so I could add say, someone else, but right now, for the, for the sake of this tutorial, you know, it's just gonna be me and Grits. Now, the way they've worked out veterancy bonuses in the game is, if one of your squad members has veteran, we all gain a passive 5% increase. It's the whole sharing is caring thing. If you've all got veteran, the bonus starts to stack, as you can see. Now. These little black boxes up here is what I like to call the hot swap system. Now, if you pick an infantry, you start off as an infantry division. If you pick a tanker, you start off in a tanker division. If you pick a paratrooper, you start off in a paratrooper division. If you pick a recon, you start off in a recon division, and vice versa, and so on, and so on, and so on. If you pick a fighter pilot, you're in a fighter pilot platoon. However, the hot swap system is designed for you to add either a paratrooper, a recon, a fighter pilot, or a tank crewman into your hot swap ability, which means if we're in the middle of a match and we've got no tankers, okay, myself or Galaxy here can use the hot swap ability and become a tanker. Now, if I do that being squad leader, I am no longer leader of the squad, okay? The, lead, the leading of the squad will be handed down to the next person, which would be uh, would be Grits or another person that the matchmaker parts us with. As long as you've got these three three slots entered, matchmakers not going to associate not going to associate you, give you any more new players for your squad. Okay, so it's just you, you and your two buddies. Now, so for example, uh, Galaxy, what would you like in the hot swap? Tanker. There we go. So as you can see, tanker costs four points. I've got one point free. See? Now, to add an additional tanker would be five points. Now, I don't have those. I do not have enough points. See? Not enough squad upgrade points right here. So that kind of sucks. Now, maps and filters. This is where you can choose what maps you want to go on. We're not going to go on encounter because tankers can't go there. And we're not doing any of the assault maps. We're just going to do skirmish for now. Okay? So it's simple. So, and that's pretty much it guys. That's how you sort it out. Now, let me make, let me clear up some confusion as to what happened from the dev report. 
One, in the middle of a match, if we go in as our infantry, the tanker is the only class one of us can take. Only one, because we've only got one tanker slot. If we had two tanker slots, we could change our infantry both over to tanker and join someone's tank, tank squad and take orders from them. That's how that works. This is the only other unit we're taking with us to battle. No other units. So we can't play recon. We can't play paratrooper. And vice versa. Do you understand? We can't play fighter pilot. So. Uh, we just need grits to ready up. Now he's readied up. Now you can also click the little box next to the, the green to battle button. This will still bring you up a whole bunch of maps you can select. Okay. Now I'm playing Soviets in the war this time around, not, not Germans, not Americans. So the war maps, as you can see, with the big red X, are not applicable. Now, because we have a tanker as a hot swap, we can pick the encounter map mode, but we just can't swap into the tanker. So, right now it's skirmish or assault. And for simplicity's sake, I'm just picking skirmish. So we're gonna click to battle. Now, they've also removed the estimated queue times. There's no longer any estimated queue times. So, what do I think of Squad 2.0? I think that it was aimed at bringing people together. It was aimed at making squads. It was aimed at making teams. But at the same time, there are a, few, a rather large number of downsides to this update. One of which is you cannot jump in in a battle with your friends. This hurts streamers like myself, Cotton Gamer, uh, I'm the Flying Cow, Old Man Smithers, Be Fine, etc., etc., where we have quite a large number of, of, of loyal followers who want to platoon up with us. Oh, look, we're in a battle. It's a skirmish. And, and with the new map showings, it shows you who you're fighting. We are fighting the Americans. And it looks like they've already gotten the Chateau. So, now, I'm also going to explain to you how to send squad commands. Because I am the squad leader. See the two little chevrons underneath my soldier's name? That means I am the squad leader. Now, in order to become squad leader, you must have a soldier of rank 6 or higher. So at rank 5, you can become a tanker. At rank 6, you can be a designated squad leader. And you do not need binoculars. Binoculars no longer force you to be a squad leader. So you can take your binoculars still and use them as they were intended to survey the battlefield, to spot that annoying Hellcat and that, or that annoying Hetza or that annoying Stug or that annoying SU-85 camping all the way so far out. He should be in World of Tanks in Himmelsdorf, but he's not. He's somehow still in your map sniping you at your spawn. Well, now you can spot that. Also, you may have noticed that they have changed the, the player cards. As you can see, it lists here that we have 345 lives, 75 which are infantry, 79 are recon, 47 are, uh, uh, sorry, 36 are paratrooper, 144 are recon, 147 are, are tankers, and vice versa, as you can see. It tells you who, what, where. It also tells you how many planes you've shot down, how many tanks you've destroyed, how many times you've died, uh, how many captures you've done and how many kills you've gotten. And it also lists your score points now. Now, as you can see, we're called Infantry Squad 3. You can also name your squads. However, the names are not permanent. Once you've named your squad, if your squad disbands for any reason, for any reason, that's it. The squad name's gone. You have to buy a new squad name, which I think should have been free, personally. Now, hold down the Q key. Highlight the area, which is alpha. I've highlighted it. And in two seconds, one, two, ta-da. The squad orders have been issued to everyone in my team. And now, we're gonna get EXP just for capping A in addition to what we get for capping A. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, here I am at alpha. I'm doing my job. Gritz is doing his job too. We are attacking Alpha. There is no enemy soldiers here to kill, but if there was, we would get EXP for each soldier we kill in addition to actually capping. And 
now Alpha is secured. And as you can see, order success. I've issued a new order to attack the Chateau. Now we've got to be careful. Oh, that's our paratrooper plane. Now, that cap's been neutralized by a friendly. So there's only probably one soldier in there. Now we've got to be careful because in the new update, they've made the Cougar wagons too easy to spin out and very hard to control. There is, there is one soldier here. He is most likely in here. Now I've given the attack order. There he is. Now look at that. EXP for wounding, EXP and raiding. The EXP just stacks up now, guys. Just stacks up now. And now we're going to resupply real quick. There we go. Order success, command squad bonus success. Now, this is where you can choose to defend, as you can see. Now, for every soldier we kill while we're in the vicinity of this cap, we're going to get what's known as defense EXP, in addition to uh, a, a raid and protection. Now, we've got to be careful, because there's a Carl out there trying to snipe. And we are successfully holding the capture. Now, this gentleman here, his name's blue because he's not in our squad. Gritz's name is in green because he is in my squad. So, Gritz can see my orders. There's a Sturmgewehr. Okay. See, Gritz killed someone, so I got a squad command point. Do you see? I got EXP for Gritz killing someone. Now, if we were in a squad together, other squad members would also gain additional EXP. And the more people you have in your squad, the more additional EXP you earn. The game is trying to promote team play. So there's someone in the SPAA. Now, I could, in theory, have them attack that. Now, if Gritz kills him, I'll get squad command EXP. But I'm not going to. I'm going to reissue the order to defend Charlie. See? Defend Chateau. And that's it, guys. That's how you use and you hold the Q key down. Okay, so if you've had something bound to the Q key before, you'll need to change that. There we go we won it's that easy guys and this is how it breaks down see squad order bonus of six squad order succeeded of two we did complete two of my orders and so you gain exp of course again recon because you know captured without being seen combat movement and physical training and that is it guys that is how you do it that is squad 2.0 in a nutshell now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Grits ready up again real quick. And then we're going to go to battle. And if we can, I'm going to swap out to a tank. And you're going to see what happens. Or, or, or we'll have Grits swap out to a tank. Now, because he's still in the tank, he's still part of my squad. Because we chose to have tanks as our hot swap. So we can then choose to... to I can then choose to get inside his tank and use his machine gun and vice versa. He can then get into my tank and use the machine gun. Edit. You can talk, I'm gonna edit this bit out. You can talk if you need one, two grits. I only have light tanks for Germany, so. Mm -hmm. Got Panzer one, Panzer two. Oh, here we are. Here we go, guys, and we're here in a battle. This time it is a heel skirmish. Not one of my favourites, but it is good for tanking. So fingers crossed, we'll get to show you what the tanking looks like. So grits, if there is tanks and it's medium, I will use tanks. If it's light tanks, if you wish, you can go ahead and use your light tank. Okay. Oh, 
And again, guys, if you need any more clarification, please leave a comment on the video down below and I will do my best to answer your comment directly and or make another follow-up video explaining more about Squad System 2.0. Now, it does appear that they do have a tanker. One of the things that a lot of players would complain about was they didn't know what these little icons meant. Well, now, it tells you armor squad. As you can see, BCMMK, or Bukmik, whatever you want to pronounce his name, is clearly in an armor squad. So, if we do take tanks, there's a high chance we're going to see some tank-on-tank -tank action. Ooh, kinky. Now, yes, we do outnumber them. It's four of us compared to three of them. But I'm pretty sure we're going to get some more players coming up. Now, also, if you hold tab now, notice how it's changed from team chat blue to squad chat green. This is just for Ritz's eyes. Press tab again. This is for the team to see. And that's how it works. Green is always your squad. Blue is always your, your faction. Soviet, American, German, doesn't matter. See? And he says hello back in squad, using squad chat. There we go. Available auxiliary seat. There it is. And it, now, notice how it's saying warning. You will be unable to issue orders as a squad member. Now... Uh, I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let Grits take that if he wants. I'm going to go as an infantryman. I believe it is light tanks. So there we go. I'm going to issue the order to attack Charlie. So I'm going to attack Charlie. And here I am. I'm attacking Charlie. Now, Gritz is in his Panzer 38. I would stay buttoned up just on the off chance that because they haven't captured A yet, so they're on their way. Two of them have spawned in. All three have spawned in now. High likelihood they're gonna. It's gonna be a chaffy, dude. All right. Also, they have increased the sound effects. Okay, Charlie has been secure. Issue order. Attack Bravo. Issue has been, order has been sent. There you go. And my car is stuck. You're kidding me. Yep, my car is stuck. Oh, well, ripping rip, rip pepperonis. So I'm going to hop a ride in with Grits because we're in the same squad. We can. There, as you can see, I am now on the bow gun. See you guys. Now, because I issued the attack order, any kills we get while attacking Bravo will give us squad EXP. Yep, right there. Stuart, Stuart, Stuart. Rotate left, rotate left. Now, if that Stuart had HE, he'd be firing it right now, which he doesn't. But it appears they've got two enemy um, They've got two tanks now. And uh, M2. And what appears to be a Stuart. Okay. So I've gone ahead and successfully capped. M2's firing, giving his position away. Stuart's firing. And it is a chaffy. Chaffy is now destroyed. There we go. Grits is now giving me support fire.
And I'm... Oh, 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 oh. Boxes save my life. Boxes save my life. Again, I'm using what cover I have. There's a recon on the rocks. Nice, good hit, good hit, hit. Again, why? Now, I'm gonna issue a, defen a defense order. Now, for each person Grits kills defending B, He'll gain EXP, I'll gain EXP. That's the difference between an attack order and a defend order. We've got a bazooka guy. Two bazooka guys. Great, my truck's back. I like to be a little bit sneaky and lay down in the truck. <laughs> Don't try this at home, guys. Okay, so we've got a Panzer 38 moving up. He's not being shot at. Rocks look like they've been cleared. Now, I could issue an attack order for Alpha. Oh, no, no, no. Looks like we've got... Careful. Now I'm hearing the Stuart. Who's getting attacked. He's a smoking. Okay, so. Oh, ripping pepperoni, those two. Okay, we've got enemy contact on the rocks. So I'm actually going to go up to those rocks and do some defending now. Sturmgewehrs, MP34s, oh my. And so pretty much this is Squad 2.0, guys. I know a lot of people... ...have... A lot of bad things to say about it but I think it's taken the game in somewhat of a right direction if you think about it I'm hearing footsteps motorcycle motorcycle got him got him got him ooh shiza do you know what? Right there. Our oh, poor Panzer one seater didn't stand a chance. So we've got another Stuart out there. Again, like I said. Yep, on his way to Himmelsdorf. Now this guy does have HE. Mr. Blackout. And notice how the tanker is now greyed out because Gritz has decided to become a tanker. Now, again, if I try to use my other infantry mem member, you know, I'll be un un unable to issue orders because he's not rank 6. You must be a minimum of rank 6 in order to issue orders. So that's a bit of a, that's, that is a bit of a bummer if you've got multiple soldiers, but not so much if a lot of your soldiers are above the, are, are above rank 6.
Now it looks like they are trying to take Charlie. Okay, Charlie's secure. Still the vehicle animations are a bit touchy at best. Okay, and I still got the defend order on Bravo. That order will stay. I mean, I could choose to go defend Alpha now. See? New orders were issued. Commands were a success. We did def successfully defend A. So you gain more you gain more squad EXP. Now I don't know what's there. And we won. GG. So we've won two games now. And I hope you start to understand how the squad system works. Again, big thank you to Galaxy Grits. Uh, he's on Twitch. His uh, Twitch channel is xxgalaxy underscore grits xx. I'll post a link in the video description down below. And if you did like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. If you didn't like this video, well, you know what to do. The dislike button's there as well. And again, guys, please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And most importantly, I'll see you on Twitch, twitch.com slash deceptive covers. Until then, guys, keep your shows flying. Keep your enemies dying. Your cover commander is out. And I'll see you bad boys in the next video.